What's up? Wax Chronicles, we back. Uh, this is going to be a mail day that goes down in the annals of time. The anal of time goes down in the anal of time. It finishes in the anal of time. Uh, so let's get to it. Let's not waste any time. You guys are going to be really impressed with the dollar I spent on this one. Maybe two. Let's see what we got here. Oh, <laughs> heaters. All heaters. That's all I'm opening today. Baron Davis, Topps Gold Label Rookie. Um, just look at that thing shine. I mean, we go back. I mean, you could consider the Charlotte Hornets part of the current Charlotte Hornets team history, but, I mean, for those of you who follow the NBA, we all know that that Hornets team is now to Pelicans. And so Baron Davis was one of the first players that I fell in love with, uh, created my love of the, the what are the now Pelicans. And I came to think about it, I don't really have any good cards of him or any rookie cards for that matter at all. I think I have a Tops at home. So <clears throat> I found some pretty cool deals on a couple Baron Davises, not to spoil the league, but that's a that's cleaner than a bitch right there. Uh, the muscular point guard fights off defenders before bursting to the rack. You got that right. All right. Thank you to whoever sent me that. All right, next card. Whoop. Giving away addresses here. Lay off, all right? I'm trying. What we got? <clears throat> this is a mail day unlike anything I've ever been a part of. Come on. Oh, you guys, you are, you want obscure? I'll give you obscure here. Kendall Gill, New Jersey Net legend, creators, top's finest insert. Um, I mean, if we're being real, Kendall Gill is just the truth. I mean, he's a, he used to play on the Hornets way back in the day, back when I was still a baby and a child. Um, but when I look back on the history of the Hornets, he was one of my favorite players uh, that were, was a part of the franchise. And um, he actually shares the same birthday as me. So that's kind of another thing that made me fall in love with him. And, that, you know, as a kid, you latch on to those silly things. And I still, you know, he was the first person that I ever, like first famous person basketball player I ever saw that had the same birthday as me. So I felt like I was kind of bonded to him in that way. Um, and I've loved him ever since. I mean, he's a hot boy. He still looks like he's 33 and he could lace him up. Same he, with that said, I was watching the Pelicans game last night, and I think this every time I watch it. Antonio Daniels is currently on the Pelicans broadcast team. He literally looks like he's 29 and can play. Um, oh, God. All right. I'm going to pull the tape off for this one. I know you see this. Oh, my God. Is that not the – like, let's get it. Let's get it, man. I mean, where do we even start here? Darius Miles. Um I was having a conversation with my bro the other day about Darius Miles specifically and about how he in particular almost had more of an effect. Him and how he is and how cool he is had almost more of an effect than just about anything in this world on the things I like and the things I'm interested in and the you know just my general interest and character. It's sil as silly as it sounds, <laughs> it can be traced back to D. Miles, uh, and in particular, a 2000, his 2000-2001 Upper Deck Victory Rookie card. Um, it it really did influence my life in in a positive way more than you know I'll ever be able to explain over YouTube. My brother's probably the only one who understands that, um, but he is so cool, and he is such an awesome basketball player and guy that he literally has influenced my life and made it a million times better just by looking at him and looking at his cards. And I will take that to the grave with me, and I'll always appreciate him for that. And He'll always be one of my favorite players. He was like, you know, he was a big deal kind of was when I was in that 9- to 10-year-old range because, I mean, he was a rookie in 2000, so I was 9 at the time. And, um, I mean, you know, for our kind of – my kind of age group, like D-Miles was that – he was that dude. Like his dunks, his charisma, his swagger – um, him and Q Rich and Keon Dooling, that class for the Clippers, uh, that whole team, that Clippers team was like, I mean, it's almost kind of like, you know, I don't want to say the Warriors uh, of like four or five years ago for like people at 10 years old. Um, when the, I don't know, like they, they almost had that same effect. Like everybody loved them. Everybody wanted to watch them. Um, obviously they didn't have the same success, but they're way cooler and they're not a bunch of, I'm not even going to get into it, but what we've got here, the elusive Wachter, white, white border refractor. Um, I mean, these like kind of going in the Wayback Machine too. My brother pack pulled a, a Grant Hill uh, in this set of the White Border Refractor, and it's always been like one of our favorite cards of all time, his Grant Hill. And so I never had one, never pulled one. And then I found, I was just like, you know, kind of stumbled across this one. And, you know, D Miles, kind of going back to it, one of my all time favorite players, uh, White Border Refractor of him, 
God, if that isn't the cleanest, I mean, you can say what you want about Prism. They ain't got nothing on this. Let me tell you, they ain't got nothing on this. Number to 249. Look at the back. Like, I mean, that's D Miles. Belleville Zone. Legend. Look at this thing. That's one of the cleanest cards I've seen. That's one of my favorite cards in my collection. I'm not even going to front with you. All right, final card of the day. Okay, here we go. So I'm giving away address. I'm going to have to do some editing or something. <clears throat> so this is, I think, the second. No, it's probably the third or fourth most I've ever spent on a single. Um, I bought a Zion single. Or I bought a Zion Prism rookie, a Zion Optic rookie, just because, you know, Lord knows I would never be able to pull one of those, even if I could afford the packs. Um, just because, you know, going back to the whole Pelicans thing. But... Uh, this is probably the third most I've ever spent on a single, and it is just because I wanted it. Uh, an AI, Topps Finest Rookie. Um, nothing crazy. I mean, this isn't a Topps Chrome card. Um, it's not a refractor or anything, but, I mean, AI. If you don't like AI, I just don't fuck with you. I'm sorry. Uh, it's AI. So uh, this is something that I'll always cherish, this card. Uh, I mean, it's, it's Allen Iverson, and I have his rookie card, and I'm so proud to own this card now, and I'm so thankful that I was able to find it. Um, I mean, young AI is about, I mean, uh, AI's entire life. He's literally one of the coolest humans that, was ever, that has ever existed. Um, so, yeah, I'm kind of glad that this one was the last one. It was a good way to, to end this uh, ep epic mail day. Oh, get some. Uh, as you can see, it's still got the protector on it. Um, so... Yeah, what a heater. What a mail day. Let's recap it. I mean, you can see here, I'm kind of going nostalgic with it. I'm getting tired of, you know, I mean, they just don't make basketball players like they used to. Uh, AI, D. Miles, Kendall Gill, B. Diddy. As you can see, kind of a theme here, too. They're all glossy, shiny, chromium type cards. I guess I'm a sucker for them, but one rookie. That Kendall Gill's not a rookie. That D-Mile's not a rookie. The, the AI's a rookie. Um, God, what a hot mail day. Anyway, thanks for tuning in. We'll talk to you later.